to the stop sign, and then we have another one over here. What what is it? We have three gardens in this area right here. See? Oh, see that far as far down to the stop up? sign. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then once we get everything in, we have all the green and cutting. We use community volunteers, organizations, right, returning citizens. Uh, we do school community service hours. Uh, look at that. Look at those. That's, those are, uh, that's, uh, I think that's red cabbage. Yes. Yeah. Purple yeah. cabbage when it comes Beautiful. Back. Really pretty. This is awesome. Absolutely. We have markers at the beginning and the ending of each of the rows. Right. Let's see, uh, this was something Home Depot did for us. Right. The whole okay. partnership with Home Depot. Right. They built the pergolas, and what this system does, it catches the water, mm -hmm. and then, it, as you see, it just irrigates into these uh, containers. And look how full they are right now. Right. Yeah, they're full. Right. So now we don't have to worry about trying to get water. And see, up under, up under here, you have the coffee sack, mm -hmm. and then this keeps out all the weeding. And then we put the um, what are these called, Beverly? Wood chips. Wood chips, yeah. And so next year, right. we don't have to worry about putting the rows in. The rows are already in. Right. So all we'll be doing, and which we, when we close out the gardens in the fall of the year, then we pull the plant out or what's left of the plant after it's harvest. And so next year, all we'll need to do is that we'll be just putting a, a new plant into that uh, hole where the old plant is. Right. So how much does a space like this produce? Typically, uh, how much harvest do y'all get? Have you placed a value? Yeah, we have. Uh, let's see, it was in a, uh, a year's crop of 20 by 20, which is our normal size. This is exceptional. This is this is considered a this, that, and this. And then I'm gonna take you right down the there. This, this is considered 120 by 20 garden. So one 20 by 20 garden will will uh, yield a ton of food. Mm -hmm. Yep, so that will feed quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yep, that's the truth. And these gardens consider, are considered more than uh, two acres, two acres of land. Where do y'all get your soil? Are y'all composting or? Oh, uh, we get it from the best soil company uh, in Michigan. Uh, it's Unidig. Unidig. And when we first got started, the first year we got started, Unidig came out and donated over eight semi trucks, double semi trucks of soil. Wow! And we, before we drop the soil on top, which is 18 inches high, we test the ground for soil. test the soil for right contaminants. Yes, yeah. for five elements and all the nutrients. Right. So okay. We have to send that off and have that tested mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before before we plant, because because if we have too much of the wrong kind of elements, then we won't plant on that ground. Y'all also test the contaminants okay. whenever y'all choose a new site yep. in an urban area? Every, 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 okay. every, for every site. We do not dump the soil until that's done. Right. Yep. So we also have one uh, 20 by 20 on the Detroit's health department ground. The city of Detroit. Health and wellness Detroit. promotion department. Health and wellness. And then at our gardens, we have events. Like we have uh, poetry and we have um, uh, dancing by the garden. We have uh, health fair. yoga by the garden. We have health It's fair. so important. We have workshops because we educate the community in terms of how to grow and how what to grow. Yeah, yeah. And we have a uh, health and wellness chef. We have a health and wellness chef at our event. He comes out and cooks, cooks healthy food, and the community loves it. And where do y'all have these events at? Is at all of our gardens. At, all at the garden. At the garden. garden. Have, you, garden. have you ever had any resistance from neighbors? Absolutely. With, they are so supportive. And not only that, they, they, they give us... Um, Statement of testimony statement testimony of what the community has yeah. done. This on this garden right here, we have a uh, we did a special on uh, New, uh, Good Morning America, mm -hmm. and she came on and said that when they first came, they was like, why are they coming to our community? Was it where they getting any benefit? And they realized that we were growing a garden for them to benefit. Mm -hmm. um, she said, not only does this garden feed us, but it also uh, has brought the community together. Right. We work together to do something in common for ourselves. Awesome. You, see, you have given us such great ownership, so they, they love it. Absolutely love it. So it's a it's a buy-in with the community. We have veterans. We have veterans that work on, on our garden, churches, right. schools, 
um, the young lady that lives here, we did ask her whether or not the community came out and picked the garden, uh, food from the garden, and of course she says they did. So Right. We've had many and people come people out and drive by. People right. may drive by and right. stop and pick the and product. It's free. And, it's and, free. and they never rip the gardens. They I know y'all don't have any gates. No barriers. No barriers. So no y'all, are all your gardens structured exactly. like that where yeah. people just come freely? And, and we have gardens all over the country just like this. Tampa Bay, Tampa, Florida, New yeah. York, New York, Chicago, Chicago just every place. Over. over half of the United States we have gardens. So it's an awesome opportunity. So we're really excited about it. So when you say you have gardens, do you all maintain them or do you sponsor the initial implementation of the gardens? Well, we maintain some portion of it, but also the community and uh, we're involved with the entry program. Uh, right. One of the things that we're looking at also is once we have the gardens and the partnerships that we have with the gardens, we're looking for them to sustain that garden right. so that we can move to the next garden, find an owner. We'll be presenting to some pastors about adopting the gardens for our Adopt the Garden exactly. program. And we want them to take ownership too of that particular garden right. so that their congregation will know no one has to go hungry within right. the city of Detroit. We have enough gardens. And we have people that don't even live in the city that are riding by. And right. So do you all have a model? A model that you give them to help them make it sustainable. I know when I went oh. to Chicago, I met Dr. Burroughs, and she talked about how she um, helped the first black history museums and the right. subsequent museums by the model that she gave them right. to be sustainable no long-term economically yeah. by membership, kind of like a member. Everybody pays a membership, yeah. and that way the community stays involved. What type of model do y'all give them so that when you all move on to the next project, they're able to keep it going and keep it maintained it's, and keep it's it? It's just a matter of a training model. How to sustain the garden is the model basically that we give them. And, and, and also we do have a, um, we have six um, objectives in terms of how they, how the garden best benefits them in many, many ways. Not just in growing the food, but in terms of how they can just better their own life condition. And so, um, so they give they give free food, and they want to keep it maintained exactly. and keep it going because that's that's, it. it becomes right. a savings for the family. It becomes a savings for the family, but so also that's almost like a, a membership. Yeah, it, all, it also Economic. permits the community to come together and do something together for themselves. The social benefit. Own, no question about it, right? Mm -hmm. But but urban farming, I do want you to go on the website. Urban farming is massive in many ways, and we are growing. We've got a wealth of just great, phenomenal people on our team that work to make sure that all of this happens for the community and give them, in terms of giving back. And see, our guys do not only just benefit people that are hungry, but it, it benefits the big business guys because now they can. We, we train people to do different kind of things, and they can hire those those people to move abroad. Many of our urban farming uh, staff members, this may not be your dream, mm -hmm. to be a gardener or to manage, help manage this forever, but there may be some other opportunities. So we believe in win-win opportunities. We bring opportunities to the table for everybody to work with us. We just want to know what it is. What is it you want to do? What, 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 where's your dream at? And, and we bring the resources to the table to help each and every person that we run into. So what other types of things do y'all do? Well. Uh, for example, I'm the uh, assistant executive director, and my goal is to continue on to write my book, and I'm a motivational speaker. So within a year, I'll be moving in that direction. Wow. And everything for that is being placed in place, put yeah. in place for me as I work to do this. Awesome. That's what I mean. It's the same thing with every person. Somebody might want to be, make care to just be a gardener all the rest of their life, and that's fine. It's wonderful. That's so you said that thing. you're getting a lot of corporate um, partnerships and sponsors. Well, we have, let's just say who we have at the table right now. We have Kraft. We just put in uh, 50 gardens in 20 cities with Kraft. We traveled around the, the nation to do that uh, with Coca-Cola, the Rain Barrel, Home Depot, Pergola. And not only that, they also added events where people just come out and enjoy you know, we have events out here or they can just come out and sit in the garden and just enjoy the beauty of the garden. I can imagine that once everything starts growing, it's probably really beautiful. Beautiful, absolutely. Do you ever put flowers out here to kind of bring um, oh, yeah. this, this beneficial insects? Sure, insect? we're definitely going to line. We're still in the process. As you can see, this, this takes a lot of work because if you can look that way, as far as you can see, pretty much to the stop sign on this side of the street, that's all garden. 
that's an awful that's lot. Of you work. So once of that's done, we're gonna absolutely beautify it with, with with beautiful flowers and and by then some of the plants will have come up and they'll be absolutely flourishing and beautiful. Yep. Thank you. Sometimes the community will come out and just pick up some of the trash, you know, just on a on a off hour. And you don't have to work the garden. Mm -hmm. You may have worked garden alone. I stuff is frustrated. Something to eat, they come out and pick from the garden. And then the gardens are never raped. They come out and get just a little bit of Fair share. Awesome. Thank you very much. Now, you all didn't give us your information. You we need to make sure we get your information before we leave in Detroit, yeah. Michigan. Right, no.